Hi guys and welcome to another episode of my Southampton Let's Play on Football Manager 2016 and since the last episode where we played against Arsenal I believe oh no it was Chelsea, Chelsea and Dnipro sorry where we lost both games we have played quite a few games, played six games in fact so the first one was up against Norwich in the Premier League this was after our Europa League time, we actually won a game after that on the weekend after our Europa League tie, thanks to Shane Long and Jay Rodriguez getting a goal each. Quite a good performance. Um, it was nice to see us win again after two two games on the on the bounce losing. Then next up was the derby against Bournemouth, the South Coast derby, which we won two 0 We did outplay them a lot. We had way more possession, lots of shots shot accuracy was pretty good and Shane Long getting the goal and Arda Boric with an own goal good performance in that game and then was the final Europa League group game against Barté which we won to continue our winning streak we won it 2-0 thanks to Jordi Classy and Graziano Pelle it was quite a feisty game as you can see by the number of yellow cards we did have way more shots than them way more possession and got a deserved 2-0 victory for that. Then we played Watford in the Premier League and just managed to, to sneak a win. We could have won 2-0. Jay Rodriguez getting the, the winner, what turned out to be the winner, with 10 minutes left of the game. And Graziano Pelle missing a penalty. That would have put us 2-0 up on the 88th minute. Again, a few yellow cards. I am a bit concerned about our the, the number of yellow cards that we're getting at the disciplinary record might have to look into that then we played we did have I have to say have to qualify this we did have three games in the space of seven days this was the second of those three games so I did have to rest a few players and we lost 1-0 against Crystal Palace uh, as you can see they outshot us by a mile but our accuracy wasn't that good our accuracy was quite good but we didn't get enough shots in and the possession was really close so that ended our winning run and then the game we've just played was against Aston Villa, which we won 3-2. We won this game away from home. We were 2-0 up. Carlos Sanchez got one back for Villa, and then we increased our lead again to 3-1, and then Lava Kozak equalised for Aston Villa. Shane Long getting one, Dusan Tadic getting the brace. Can't really complain about that one. 57% of the possession, outplayed them, outshot them. Good result. Today's game is against Manchester City in the Premier League. They are top of the league, so this is going to be a tough one. I'll just let you know that in the FA Cup, we drew West Ham United at home. And in the Europa League, we drew Standard Liège. So that's, I'm quite happy with that, that draw in the Europa League. So we will get into the Manchester City game. So here we are for the Manchester City game. And... Manchester City are obvious favourites for this one. A bit nervous that it's going to be the same sort of scoreline as we had against Chelsea. Obviously, that was a 4 1 defeat. Did manage to get a goal in that one. I have changed our mentality for this one to being defensive. Simply to try and stop Manchester City from, from playing their game, from scoring even. Defensive instruction, I've got a few instructions on as well just show you them we've got waste time clearing the ball at the flanks mix not got retained possession on for this one because we're never going to be able to keep possession against manchester city and stick to positions just trying to structure our defending play more so we've got a free kick ramirez gave it straight to sanya i thought that was too good to be true Long ball for Aguero, but Fasico gets there on Yama. Ramirez now. Ramirez with another chance. Loses it again. It's not a good start for Ramirez. We need to stop Manchester City from getting too close to our goal. Nasri, Aguero. Shoots and saved by Stecklenburg. Obviously, this team have never, my team have never played with a defensive structure. Or as an attacking controller counter. So it should be interesting to see how we do as Aguero's on the attack for Manchester City and he shoots again and it's saved again by Stecklenburg. 
thinking maybe I should go route one because we're not going to get much of the ball, are we? Manchester City have got a corner with De Bruyne. It's headed away by Tadic. It's all Manchester City in this opening five minutes, as you would expect. Sanya with a throw. When Yama collects it, looking for the long ball to Pele. Ramirez is giving the ball away again. Sterling. De Bruyne when Yama tackles. Psycho gives it to Pele. Has he got any options? Not many. It's Ramirez. Classy. And he gives the ball away that time. Nasri plays it that wide to Sterling. Who gives it to Aguero with a chance to score for Aguero. Saved by Stecklenburg. And cleared. Manchester City have had four shots in the opening seven minutes. Clichy. Zabaleta. Nasri. Aguero, 1-0. So made tactical change, changed us to standard. And got rid of stick to positions. And Aguero's got a chance again. It's blocked. Right, is this a chance for an attack for us? Tadic looking for Pele. You can't find him. That our passing is off today. De Bruyne of the corner. Classy. Cleared it slightly. It's Nasri. Ramirez with a final tackle there. It's Toure. Sanya. You can see why Manchester City are top of the league. De Bruyne with a chance there. So two more players to show some passion. Steckenberg. Pele gets it. Ramirez. Honyama. Now it's Tadic. Down the left. Is this going to be a chance for us? Tadic with a cross. It's headed away by company. Another chance for him to cross it. And he does, and it's headed away by company again. And Sterling comes away with the ball for Manchester City, but he gives it straight to the psycho who crosses it. And company heads it away again. Classy. Long's in space. Shane Long saved by Cavaliero. Where's Joe Hart? Must be getting the rest. Sterling with the ball for City. It's Aguero. Looking for a second save. Blocked even. Tackled. I can't even speak. Zabaleta. Nasri. Aguero again. That was blocked by the centre back with Psycho clears it to Pele. So followed my assistant's instructions and got us to mark Aguero more. Ramirez at the corner. Long's in space, saved by Caballero. That was a good chance for us, that one. We're not going to get many of those against Manchester City. We need to take our chances. Kevin De Bruyne being booked for Manchester City. Aguero on the attack now for City. Gives it to Sterling. It's De Bruyne. And it's blocked by the psycho. Corner for City. De Bruyne to cross this one in. And he does. And Wanyama heads it away. Only to Sterling. De Bruyne. Crossed and Ramirez clears at that time. It's all Manchester City. De Bruyne. Crossing in from the other side now. Otamendi over the bar. Oh, it's a corner again. The defender must have got a touch on that one. It's De Bruyne. Another chance to cross it. And it's clear by Long. And tackled by Jordi Classy. De Bruyne with another corner for Manchester City. Classy clears it. Ramirez, a chance for a counter attack maybe? No, he gave it straight to Cliche. Font headed away. Ramirez heads it further away. Wanyama tackles. Southampton on the counter attack. Wanyama. Pele. Out wide left to Tadic. He plays it back to Veltman. Looking for Pele. And it's intercepted by Toure. And Manchester City on the attack now. With Aguero giving it to Sterling. Out wide on the left. Come on, lads. We need to we need to mount attacks. It's Nasri. Through to Aguero. Saved by Stecklenburg. Aguero is offside. Sterling with a throw. Zabaleta. De Bruyne. Sanya, the psycho, tried to intercept that. Classy does intercept, and he gives the ball straight to Toure. De Bruyne. Sanya crosses it. Sterling. And it's 2 0. But Aguero's been injured, but they've got Bonnie to come on, so that's not really anything, is it? Onyama with a free kick, looking for Pele. Ramirez through the long. It's Shane Long off the bar. And cleared by company. 
we have not taken our chances. We've had a couple. Arguably, could be 2-2. Two -two. Sterling to Zabaleta. Back to Sterling. Manchester City on the break now. Sanya, good tackle from Wanyama, who's not having the best of games. At all, he's got a 5.5 .5 match rating. <laughs> Bonnie, De Bruyne shoots and it's wide. It's 2-0 at half time. I'm not telling them that was a good first half. That was not a good first half. Expect to see a much better showing in the second half. So a couple of changes made. Romeo and Rodriguez coming on for Wanyama and Tadic. Let's see if we can get a goal in the second half. Be happy with that as long as we don't concede any more goals. Bonnie Zabaleta, Sterling, saved by Stecklenberg. Long ball looking for Pele. On Mendy gets there first. Classy wins it in the air. Ramirez. Cedric, looking for Pele, finding Otamendi, Nasri now, comes away, gives a great ball to Bonny. It's good defending from us, De Bruyne with a throw, Zabaleta, De Bruyne, Zabaleta, Toure, he can shoot, told you, and he scores, okay, I don't see the point of doing standard anymore, so we'll just go to attacking, fluid, Stecklenburg, a long ball, looking for Pele, he flicks it on to Ramirez, he plays it to Long. Shane Long on a run now, gets tackled by Zabaleta, and Manchester City have got the ball again. Sterling, Nasri, it's going to be 3-4 even. Romeo intercepted Ramirez now. The ball for Southampton, it's Ramirez, on a long run. Can he cross it at the end of it? He can. Long's there, gives it to Pele. There's one back unless it's offside, which it is. Offside, Graziano Pele scoring a goal. Ramirez with a free kick. Rodriguez. Pele. A wide left of a psycho. Plays it in the box. It's Rodriguez who's there. It's cleared by Sanya. Corner. Better from us though. Ramirez now with a corner. And it's headed clear. De Bruyne with a corner for Manchester City now. And Bonnie with a header. That was close. Just wide at the far post. Toure's got a free kick. Gives it to Sterling. It's Toure again. He scored one already. He tried it. Blocked by the defender. Zabaleta. Sanya in space. Shoots. Or was that a cross? We'll never know. It's a goal kick anyway. Stecklenburg with a goal kick. Looking for Rodriguez. Who flicks it down to Pele and gets tackled by the Mendy. But it's classy now. Romeo. A white to Vesico, Ramirez, it's Rodriguez, shoots and it's blocked, it's Vesico with a chance to cross it, Rodriguez, just over. We're playing a lot better in the second half, creating a lot more chances. Company hits that wide to Sterling. Nasri, looking for Bonnie, and Bonnie scores, it's 4-0. And another corner. The 15th of the game. Sterling on the edge of the box. Still Sterling. Tackled, but goes straight to De Bruyne. Classy with a good tackle. And Romeo clears only to Fernando. It's Delph. Company. Nasri. Are they going to get another shot off? Nasri crosses it. Cliche at the back post. Bonnie nearly cleared by Veltman. But Manchester City just come at us again. It's Fernando. Vasico clears it. Further than anyone else has managed so far in this highlight. Throw in for Manchester City. Cliche. Sterling. Said Cliche's name a bit weird there. Otamendi. Delph. Cedric intercepts and gives it to Stecklenberg. Pumps it forward. Look for Pele. And he flicked it straight to Nasri. And De Bruyne is through on goal. He plays through to Bonnie. That's five. Veltman. It's not going good. Sterling, Bonnie, De Bruyne, Nasri. Shoots it wide. Ramirez with a free kick for Stanton. It's headed away by company. I've brought Mbolo on for Shane Long. Bolo needs some match 
match time. And that's what I'll give him it in this one. Long ball, searching for Nasri. Fernando, it's going to be six. Sterling, there it is, number six. Come on, throw in with the psycho. Rodriguez, Ramirez. It's Brian tackles. it's Rodriguez. Romeo, Ramirez is through. <sighs> Caballero picked the ball up. Sterling. No, oh, bit of miscommunication in the Manchester City ranks there. Ramirez, it's Pele. The psycho with a chance to cross. He gives it to Rodriguez, who shoots, and it's blocked, and Delph clears. The psycho with a throw in now for Slanton. Ramirez, the psycho. Ramirez. Crossed it, and Buller was there. Cedric's there now. Cedric, over the bar. Manchester City with a throw. Sterling to Nasri. Fernando in miles of space. De Bruyne saved by Stecklenburg and cleared by the psycho. This is embarrassing. Don't even think that it should be 6 now. We should have scored at least two. Sterling gives it to Clichy. The psycho clears it. Veltman, three seconds to go. Come on, ref, blow the whistle early, please. Thank you. There we go. Full time at the City of Manchester Stadium, and it's Manchester City 6, Southampton 0. So we'll be back with the Aston Villa game. So here we are for the Aston Villa game, and we are favourites for this one. Obviously, we beat them two games ago. We beat them 3-2. So let's hope for a repeat of that today. As you can see, I have made a few changes. Obviously, last game was just two days ago, so we've got a few tired legs out there. So Bertrand... Has come in for the psycho. Aina's come in for Cedric. Virgil and Kolka come in for Font and Veltman. Uh, Wanyama stays. Romeo comes in for Jordi Classy. Tadic stays. Long stays. Mane in for Ramirez. Rodriguez in for Pele. So let's hope we can get a victory to make up for the 6 0 loss against Manchester City. Free kick for Villa, Triore crosses it, Agbonlahor's there, saved by Stecklenburg, that was a difficult save to make, so close to, Agbonlahor was so close to the goalkeeper there, Westwood, Guy, Sanchez, and Aston Villa played it all the way back, we forced them back, so Aston Villa with a throw, Amavi throws the Guy, Sinclair, Westwood looking for Agbonlahor, just keeps it in, and crosses it to Sinclair, the guy saved by Stecklenburg, Igbonlahor, and tackled. And Romeo comes away with the ball for us. Corner for Aston Villa, Traore. Cleared by Tadic. Romeo comes away with the ball for Southampton. Rodriguez, there's a great chance for a counter-attack here. Rodriguez plays through the Tadic on the left. It's Mane. Tadic saved by Guzan. Long with a chance to get the ball back in. Gives it to Einer on the edge of the box. Back to Long. And Long was offside. Traore with a free kick for Aston Villa towards Agbonhoor. Van Dijk heads it clear. Mane chasing. The Marvies first to get there. But Rodriguez gets the ball. I think Mane tackled him. It's Tadic. Tadic running down the left for us now. He needs to cross it in. Gives it to Romeu. Who's in a bit of space. Mane now. Mane shoots. Blocked. Romeu. Back to Mane. Gets tackled. And Sinclair's got it now for Aston Villa. Bertrand with the throw. It was straight to an Aston Villa player, but he gets another chance and gives it to Wanyama. Bertrand with a chance to cross now. Gives it to Tadic, who shoots and it's blocked by a core. And Kolka heads it back towards goal and it's Wanyama. Van Dijk, long ball for Rodriguez. It looked offside, but he wasn't and inflicted it to Tadic. It's Romeu. Wanyama. Romeu. And guys fouled him. Nil nil, half time. We can still come out this match with a win today. That's another little throw. Richards for Traore. Traore still running down the wing. It's Richards. Crosses it. Oh, they've scored. Aston Villa have scored. Gabi Agbonlahor. So we got the ball from kickoff. Van Dijk gives the ball straight to Akore. Agbonlahor with a chance for a second now. What is going on? Very two to Guy, Sinclair, Amavi, 
we need to tackle Sinclair, Nick Bon Lahore, Bertrand came in, Sinclair nearly scored. Aston Villa with another throw. Traore hit the post. Changed to more direct passing. Mane through to Rodriguez. Hits it out wide to Long. We've let them all come back now. We've, we had the chance for a counter, but we've let them all come back. We slowed it down too much. Romeo looking for Bertrand, but that was an atrocious pass. Aston Villa with another throw. Bertrand wins the ball, but Veratu's got it. It's Traore. Romeo heads it clear, but only to Veratu. A Bon Lahore off the post. Aina clears it that time. It's brought Juanmi on for Jay Rodriguez. Jay Rodriguez had a back strain, as you can see there. Tadic with a free kick. Crosses it in. Headed away. Tadic has got it again. He shoots. Good save by Guzan. And Guy heads it clear towards Sinclair. Chance for a counter. Aston Villa have got some quick players. It's Triore. Ferra 2. Saved by Stecklenburg. Free kick now with Van Dijk. And Marvi heads it clear. Why is Van Dijk taking the free kicks? Davis. Mane. Shoots wide. And Zogby with a free kick. Over the bar. Stecklenburg pumps the ball forward and for Juanmi. Laurie gets there first though and it's Guy and Aston Villa mounting another attack. Sinclair. Guy. Ferra 2. Zogbia. Saved by Stecklenburg and then Zogbia was offside. Zogbia with the corner. Headed away by Long. Mane is chasing now. This could be a chance for an attack for Southampton. Come on Mane. Mane still going. Needs to cross it. But still Mane. Long's there. Saved by Guzan. Zogbia for Aston Villa. Ferra 2. Back to Nzogbia. Nzogbia saved by Stecklenburg again. I've changed to overload and very fluid. And Aston Villa have a corner. Ferretu. Headed away by Long. Ferretu again with the chance to cross. And he does. And Laurie's there. Blocked. Ferretu. Blocked by Long that time. Less than 10 minutes to go, and it's 1 0 to Aston Villa. We really need to start. We really need to get a goal, basically. We're falling behind, already four points behind fifth place. Nzogbia with a cross. Van Dijk heads it clear, only to Nzogbia again. Amavi in space. Over the bar. Overload tactic doesn't seem to be working. Maybe it will now. Mbolo. Mane. Juanmi. Juanmi goes past Richards and he shoots and that was the worst shot I think I've seen ever. In the last minute of the game, before the four minutes of stoppage time, it's Romeo. Is he going to get tackled? Yes, he is. Aston Villa on the attack. Veratu, Agbon Lahore. Veratu again. Looking for Nzogbia. Bertrand intercepts. <sighs> he nearly ran straight into Nzogbia there. Romeo to Mane. Mane shoots, he scores eventually, but maybe he would have scored if Wanmi hadn't gotten away as well. Bertrand with a throw, Davis, Van Dijk, tons of space, Romeo, Juanmi, bad touch, Mane gets there and shoots and blocked, Romeo, Aina, and he's tackled, he's still got it though, it's Romeo, to Davis, Mane, can we manufacture a goal, why is Mane shooting all the time? Into the 93rd minute. Of four added minutes, and I can only guess that this is going to be on the last plays of the match. And Van Dijk's given a free kick away, so that's it. We've got beat again, second game in a row. We lost six nil to Manchester City, and we've lost one nil to Aston Villa, despite beating them three two in the reverse fixture. Could be worse if Aston Villa get a goal here, but they don't. And we get a chance to clear, and that should be a full time whistle. The ref's just making us wait longer. There we go, full time. So, obviously, I would have, would like to do the FA Cup game, but I think that's a bit too close. Yeah, I'll be back for the Stanley Age game or the FA Cup game, depending on who we get. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to get all my content when it's released, and I'll see you next time.